YOLO box, another really new product uh, that we're very excited about. This question actually comes from Instagram. Dana on Instagram wants to know, I noticed there are only two HDMI sources on the YOLO box, but I know I can bring other sources in. So what other sources are available to me on the YOLO box? Let's talk really quick about what the YOLO box is. YOLO box is a small compact encoder, switcher, monitor, and recorder that actually fits right in the palm of your hand with a touch screen. It's a very cool product available at $1,099 from videoguys.com. And I've actually got one right in front of me here. So let's take a look at the inputs on our YOLO box. Now, if I go to the above the head shot right here, you'll see that I'm actually feeding this image here so you can see it a little bit clearer, but I have it right here too. I've got all of my inputs set up on top for this multi-camera production that I am about to do. You'll see there are two HDMI sources that I can bring into YOLO box right on top there. I've only got one plugged in. That's not because of the capabilities of YOLO box. That's only because of what we have available in the studio today. Uh, but I have one HDMI source available on top and I could put in another HDMI camera here if I felt that I needed it for my production. Instead, utilize the USB port that you'll find next to those HDMI ports on top of the YOLO box. And instead of feeding a hard drive or a, different, or a modem in there, which we'll get to in a minute, I'm actually feeding a webcam in there, and that is the PTZ Optics Webcam 80, which is a great USB webcam. I've got it mounted up right here. And that's actually the picture that you're seeing on the YOLO box screen right here. So this is the big one, is the Webcam 80. And then I have an HDMI camera in my feed over there. Moving on next to it, you've got another HDMI slot. That's actually your HDMI out. Today, we're feeding that HDMI out into a NewTek Connect Spark. Uh, which is then feeding NDI into our TriCaster Mini. So there's my UI. If I wanted to, I could also pop up just the one video and send it that way. It's a really, really flexible feature. Then I've got my network port right here. And then I have my charging station over here as well. Now, that may sound like it's only three inputs, but you can do even more. That's right. So I have a USB camera right now, but this USB port actually has two other functions. One, it can bring in a USB modem, which we'll talk about in just a minute, so hold, put a pin in that. But it also can bring in a hard drive source. So if I had just a USB hard drive to plug in there with a canned video that I wanted to be part of my stream, I could absolutely do that with that USB camera port. And better yet, when we're speaking of canned video, this little box also has an SD, uh, an SD card slot. So here's my placeholder, and I'm actually gonna put in a real SD card to feed into there, and I could then pull canned video off of that SD card and bring that into my live production as if it was a live camera. Now let's say I want another live video switch. I don't want a canned video, I want it to come in live. Well, this little box also has RTMP pull. Um, and what that means is I can stream to an RTMP and I can actually bring that right into the YOLO box and stream that picture as well. So that's how I can get another input in there, even on top of all the great inputs that are already on this box. Thank you for watching this highlight from the Video Guys Live webinar. If you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.